Hey guys, Becca here, and I hope I can answer some of your questions, or this video can. Um, as many of you know, we stopped making My Hair Academia videos. In fact, we actually stopped in, uh, let's see, August 31st, 2020 was our last official video that we posted. And a lot of you want to know why we stopped, if we're going to do it again, so on and so forth. As to why we stopped making My Hair Academia content, we spent a good probably two years grinding and making that content for all of you. And we enjoyed making it at the time, don't get me wrong, but at the end we were all really tired and burnt out. All of our summers were spent making this content. And like I said, we had a good time making it. It just, when you keep doing it over and over again, it gets very tiring and it stops becoming fun. On top of that, we had a lot of really bad interactions with the My Hero fandom. Um, on other videos, I've spoken about how because I was cosplaying Bakugo and I had the consent to jokingly bully my sister who was cosplaying Deku, I got tons of death threats <laughs> to my Instagram DMs. And I mean, I don't like let it bother me, but Just the negativity around stuff like that really just puts a bad taste in your mouth and doesn't make you want to do it anymore. And um, other than that, we all kind of grew up. <laughs> I'm 23 now. I graduated college. Um, Ashley graduated college. We all graduated college and kind of gone our separate ways because um, we're all kind of pursuing different interests. I still talk to the group. They're all doing well. Um, you can see them online. They're still posting stuff on Instagram or on TikTok. And you can go check them out if you miss any of them. Um, I'll put their uh, links down below so you can see what they've been up to. As far as concern for this channel, lately there's been a lot of comments about people concerned for our number of views. And it's weird because um, let me be concerned about the number of views for my channel. Uh, it's not your channel. And yeah, uh, is the, the lack of views disheartening? Of course it is. Uh, every time I go and I check YouTube Studio, we're, in the, we're, we're losing lots and lots and lots and lots of subscribers and viewers. And of course that's disheartening. But I'm making content now that I really enjoy. Um, and I'm going to keep making that content and hopefully other people will enjoy it, whether that's five people or 5,000. I'm going to make it. Also on this channel, um, I'll be doing a lot of streams and gaming. And we're slowly going to switch it over to mostly filmmaking stuff as Ashley and I get further into that. So you'll see our short films like Camp Agony. You'll see trailers for features or web series or whatever else we want to do. Uh, music videos. The whole nine yards. Um, as far as cosplay goes, I still really like cosplay. And if you check out my Instagram, Shipper by the Dozen, I still post cosplay stuff there. Um, we're just not going to really be doing the cosplay skits on this channel anymore because we're trying to get into other things. That being said, will we ever make My Hero content again? I'm going to say no. Um, after everything I endured with the My Hero fandom, I'm... I personally am staying away from it. Uh, whether or not the others can attest to that, uh, it's totally up to them what, whether they want to make content or not. Um, but I, I will not be returning to Bakugo, and I've heard some spoilers about the show. I mean, honestly, I got so tired of my hero that I stopped watching after season three. So I'm not even caught up on the show at this point. With that being said, none of the My Hero stuff's going to be taken down. Um, it's always going to be here on the backlog. So you can come back and watch your favorite videos whenever you want. Uh, and if you are really missing My Hero content, then uh, this is the time where I'm going to encourage you to make it. We just had a little camera, we put it on a tripod, and we sat in front of it and, you know, did funny voices and uh, picked at each other and played games. Anyone can do that. You can do that. So uh, I do, I, I encourage you to go and make videos uh, for you. And I think that'd be fun. 
and there are some really good moments. And so I've edited a little compilation uh, of the moments that I think kind of really defined uh, my love for what we got to do, uh, you know, from the CMVs to the funny videos to the try not to laughs, you know, just us being crackheads. And I've edited the little compilation. Um, so thank you. Thank you for uh, supporting us for all these years. Um, I really hope you stick around. Uh, we have more content coming. And uh, yeah, until then, here is a compilation of some of my favorite My Hero moments. person in the hot seat laughed. Um, since Kirishima was already sitting there, I guess Kirishima will start us off. You got a new story, Kachan? <laughs> yeah, it just came to me, you know? I wonder how. It was like a Twitter in my brain. Oh, cool. <laughs> you want. So this happens in a place. Or a regular like our place. <laughs> but also unlike our place. Yes. Uh -huh. On the night of a blood moon. Ooh. Ooh. Under this moon, there is a little house. And in the Ooh, house the lives puppet. a woman called the Puppet Master. Ooh. For she has a lot of puppets that she puts on shows. Oh. But there is more than this. So our heroes, after a long night of being in the woods, comes to this house. And the Puppet Master invites them into stay. Mm -hmm. Well, this lady was giving really creepy vibes. First off, <laughs> who calls themselves the puppet master? Okay? <laughs> but our heroes stay the night anyway. What? However, throughout the night, they begin to hear weird things happening outside their doors. Okay, I'm scared. Yeah, yeah. It's the wind mm -hmm. <laughs> and these know, weird right? things bring with them a new sense of adventure for our heroes because they want to know what these things are! Good question. Yeah. So they come out of the room, <laughs> they walk around, they find the puppets, which are incredibly lifelike, mind you. They look But the one that finds the puppet master is Katara! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this episode of Avatar The Last Airbender! <laughs> she finds her under the full moon. There she is, ooh, practicing ooh, the ancient ooh. art of... Wait. Let's act this out. You be the puppet master lady. I'll be Katara. You be Aang. You be Sokka. Come, come. What you narrate. Whoa. So under the light of the moon, Katara. Katara confronts the puppet master. You been new. She has filed. She has uncovered the secret art of bloodbending. Oh no! Oh the dab. I am controlled to dab too. We all. Then know. her friends rush to her side. But they too are controlled! Oh no! The oh, no. Puppet Master oh, controls God. all of them! And just as she's about to do the secret art which will take all the blood from their body and crush them, Katara finally figures out how to blood bend no. herself! For it's only an extension of water bending! When and the Puppet Master gets yeeted off! Nay, nay! Yeet yourself goodbye! <laughs> the end! That was amazing. Good job. Good job. That's basically what happened. <laughs> oh, sorry. Kacha just gave me a high five! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you alright? Did you not?
I killed a person today. Was it your father? Yes. Well, good. Please don't put the boiling water on my face again. Nope, it hasn't spit it out yet. Even her hand, like someone go walk by and be like, "I'm <laughs> afraid <laughs> Jesus in the house of the Lord." Sharky, no! Sharky, I can't make it. Okay, let's. Fire! And how can I forget? Fire! Slave Todoroki. Fire! You want some milk? <laughs> I came here to show you something because Miss Midnight told me I should. I brought this! I brought this! <laughs> so what are we doing for dinner? Okay, Todoroki's a pro at this. Oh, what are we doing for dinner? S'mores! Woo! I brought a net. video like this. Let us know. It was a lot of fun. It was a big mess, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. There's spit everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Bye.